So I'm here today with Michael Rembetsi, who is Director of Operations and Engineering at Etsy. Uh, thanks very much, Michael, for taking the time to do this. No problem. So uh, I want to talk to you about uh, PCI DSS and Etsy. Etsy is PCI DSS compliant. Uh, what, what level? Uh, two, I believe. Level two. You guys do continuous deployment. I mean, roughly how many times do you deploy code changes a day uh, to production? 25 to 50 a day, depending upon the day. Okay, a lot. Yeah. So what were the biggest challenges that you faced implementing PCI DSS sure. compliance and, and how did you address them? Um, so I'd say the one of the biggest challenges was our existing environment was quite large and was growing and, and had a lot of things in it that didn't really matter or fit into the actual compliance standard. So what we chose to do was to actually take the payment side of it and do everything that we do, but compliant in a new environment. So we segmented those environments and built a whole separate Etsy, essentially, in a new environment that we made PCI. Um, and if you don't know what making PCI means, there's a whole docket of requirements that include segregation of uh, duties and responsibilities, who has access to what, how often, how you log it, how long you log it, it goes on and on and on and on. So we took that component of what needed to be done and we pl plopped it over here and then we applied all of our Etsy principles into that environment. And that was tough because we had so many um, rules that we had to abide by, especially segregation of duties. Talk a bit more about segregation of duties. How do you manage to implement that in a way that doesn't hurt your ability to practice continuous deployment? So the payments team um, and the operations and database and all the other different components network, um, we still all talk as much as we do in our non-PCI environment at Etsy. Um, however, we just happen to have more people in the PCI environment. So we, we took the approach of adding more people into these roles. So for example, um, a developer role, a system administrator role, a network role, a database role, a manager role. Um, and, and we added more than one person into each of those roles in order to provide more resources um, as well as use the existing DevOps principles as well as the culture of Etsy to keep collaborating. So the barriers that are traditionally there between a team of database and let's say uh, developers is not there because we have those principles that we have had at Etsy for a long time in PCI with more people who are more accessible and willing to get the job done. Now we still have to follow the rules and like a developer doesn't have access to a production database because that would be a violation of PCI. But that doesn't mean that a developer doesn't have more access to a database person or people to say, hey, I need help with this change, can we get this going? So there's a lot more collaboration that goes on than you would think in a traditional environment that has these barriers of PCI. So just to be clear, I mean, sure. that means your developers don't have read access to the production database? They do not have read access to the production database. However, they do have read access to all the lovely graphs that we put up for them. Um, which could include some things that are going on with the database. So for example, they know how many queries there are, how many uh, requests per second they're doing. So we will provide to them read-only data porn in order for them to be able to see what's going on. Your deployment pipeline implementation, uh, how does that help you manage risk? Um, so the deployment process that we use inside of the PCI environment is, is very similar to what we do inside of the Etsy, in, or the non-PCI environment of Etsy. However, it has a lot more logging around it has a, um, in terms of who pushed what button, how often, where did it go. We have the role of a QA pusher. We have the role of a production pusher. So again, segmentation of duties and roles and responsibilities, but a lot more collaboration between people. So keep that in mind throughout this whole time. Um, and what we do from a risk perspective um, is that we still provide a lot of the testing framework inside of dev. Um, that we have in Etsy, we just have that in, in PCI, um, as well as um, inside of the, the logging, we have things that, that will look at logs like Spark, for example, and we provide that back to the developers in a read-only mode, so that way they can see what's going on and, and be able to react or get someone who's in a different role to help out. Um, all of this stuff goes through the tickets and gets approved, and you know we tend to react very quickly to that. So, minimizing risk, um, we tend to work together in a collaborative way to, to do that using the tools that we have traditionally used at Etsy inside of PCI because they don't violate anything. Because um, we don't get right, we get read access. And then we, we talk to each other. It's kind of crazy, right? You actually have to get up out of your desk or send an email or call someone and you collaborate to fix a problem. Uh, basic human interaction is, is, is hugely uh, a component of what we do in order to succeed in PCI and be able to continuously deliver.
So just just to be clear, I mean, you, you don't interpret segregation of duties, and your auditor also doesn't interpret segregation of duties as meaning that you can't talk to each other. Correct. Um, exactly. Just because I'm a database person and someone else is a network person doesn't mean we're mortal enemies. It actually means that we should be talking more often to figure out what's changing, what needs to change, what's going on in order to succeed in such an environment that has these standards put in place for risk, um, to mitigate risk, to minimize it. So how long does it take you, uh, what's the cycle time for a change to your PCI environment and lead time end-to-end? Um, so like we were saying before, the, the collaboration between different teams and the actual talking to get things done, in a, in a traditional, well, in our environment previously, we'll have times when people come up and say, oh my God, I forgot this, we have to do it, and we'll do it right then and there. PCI, we tend to try and plan a little bit more um, because of some of the requirements such as change management inside of PCI. Um, a ticket will have to go into our ticketing system, it'll have to be reviewed, approved, it'll have to be tested, it'll have to be pushed out. Um, we tend to do that very quickly um, because we do talk. We are very you know, close-knit with each other in that environment. Um, it could take, you know, we've pushed a change out in PCI within an hour in a non-emergency fashion. Um, and some changes, you know, features take months. Some of them take 12 hours. Um, but we tend to want to react very quickly by using the, um, the attitude that we have of having multiple people and multiple roles collaborating all the time with each other in order to still react and be able to continuously deliver things in a, in a quick fashion. And finally, what advice do you have uh, for anyone implementing PCI DSS and, and anything that you want to say that you haven't said? Um, make sure make sure that the, the team understands that it doesn't that it doesn't give an operational or system admin person the right to say no to something. Um, you still have to collaborate, you still have to succeed, you still have to work together. You, there shouldn't be barriers because a requirement is, is made of, of separation of basically church and state. Um, you need to be able to still work with everyone, you need to be able to still collaborate, and, and at the end of the day, you're there to get the job done, right? And, and people who genuinely want to succeed will find ways to do that, whether it's talking, buying beers with each other, sitting down at the table, whatever it is. So um, make sure that the team is on board and, and realizes that, yes, there's going to be some constraints, but at the end of the day, um, if, you, if you all work together, you're going to be able to, to continuously deliver the product that you want, even into a Mike Rambetsi, thank you very much.